I'm always on you guys about not playing with the occultic nonsense, not playing with the demonic. Don't mess with crystals. Don't mess with levitation. You know, I dealt with that when I was unsaved. And when we did the levitation, I knew that was demonic. I knew it. And I didn't do it anymore. Because there's no way you can hold an index finger and touch a person all around the body. Just five people with one finger. That's ten fingers, right? One finger each hand. And lift the person way up in the sky. You can't do it. You have to use muscle power to lift dead weight. And this person, all you did was touch them and they were going up almost by themselves. So we knew there was something demonic about that. And of course, I, did, I renounced and denounced all that stuff when I got saved. But my point with you is now that you're saved, leave that crap alone. Leave it alone. I don't care how curious you are. I don't care how fascinating it looks. I don't care how enticing and mesmerizing. Leave it alone. I don't want to play with the devil's toys. I could care less about the devil. There's nothing about him I want to play with. But it is definitely unwise to play with fire, especially the devil's fire. Yeah. Anyway, so I caution you, do not consult with psychics. Do not pray to angels. You know, everybody prays to Jesus, right? You know what the Bible says about that? Pray to the Father in the name of the Son. You call on the name of Jesus when you got to get delivered and get rid of a demon. But when you pray, your prayer is directed to the Godhead, to God himself, the Father. And when you finish your prayer, or somewhere in the middle of your prayer, you pray, I, I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Now, I'm not being a stickler about that, because I know God blesses prayers that are directed all kind of ways. He knows who you're talking to. But I just do it the way the Bible says it. It says, pray to the Father in the name of the Son. That is a direct quote. So, but a lot of people pray to, they talk to spirits, they talk to dead people. The spirits, they want their spirits to come around them. They want, uh, uh, they go to mediums so they can talk to their old dead family members and I, they play with seances, Ouija boards. They play, they call up psychic hotlines to find out what their love life is going to be like. And I'm telling you, you don't mess with that stuff. Leave those demonic doors alone. It's dangerous. That's like a baby playing with matches. It's dangerous. All right, now, I hear a lot of Christians co-mingling, and we talked about that too. Yeah, Mariel added, don't forget to mention tarot cards. Don't mess with any of them. The candles, the Wicca candles, that's W-I-C-C-A, Wicca candles. You're dealing with seances, with curses, hexes, spells. You're dealing with incantations, levitation, Ouija board, tarot cards, psychic hot lines, astrology. What's your sign? What's mine? What's yours? No, leave all that alone. You want to know what my sign is? It's the cross. Jesus and him crucified. Now, when you mingle around with your friends, listen to this, and they pull out the Ouija board, you head out the door. They pull out the candles to do their little seances, you make a quick exit. 
You don't even have to be polite. Mm. Let me get out of here. I got to go. They'll think you got to go do something. No, you getting out of there because you don't want to mess with that mess. You hear people saying certain things. This is what a lot of people do. They get salt, right? They get a little salt shaker. This is not salt. This is just a, a lighter. <laughs> but uh, they'll use a salt shaker that they shake on their food and they'll toss some over their left shoulder for good luck. And... Superstition. You born again Christians, stay away from superstition. Cut that mess loose. You want to lay your hat on the bed, lay it on the bed. You drop a mirror and it breaks, sweep it up, put it in the trash. Call it a day. That's all there is to it. You walk under a ladder, oh well. Come on now. You put more store in superstition than you do in God's abilities. I had this dream this week. See, that's why this is on in my spirit. I had a dream that a friend of mine who was a born again Christian, she lived a holy life, all that, right? I haven't heard from in a long time. But the whole dream, we were just kind of lingering around, mealing around, we were supposed to do something, didn't get to it, we were so busy socializing. Then I, she grabs my hand and she's all in the sunlight, holding it in the sunlight. Oh yeah, this and that, so what are you doing? <clears throat> Read my palm? Yes. And you're going to, and you're going, I said, mm, and I woke up. You'd be surprised how many born again Christians believe in that palm reading stuff. <laughs> if God's not telling you your destiny, leave it alone. You find out when you get there. That's part of trusting him. The Bible vehemently speaks against consulting with soothsayers and mediums and witches and warlocks and psychics and um, astrologers and stargazers and all that. Listen, the Bible speaks vehemently against it. God calls all of that an abomination. He doesn't leave it just at the word sin. He calls it an abomination. Don't tinker. Don't toy. Don't tamper. Stay away from it. Leave it all alone. Don't touch the unclean thing. In the name of Jesus.